All right, so the first card we have for you, Pisces, is the creator. So this is in the position of what you guys will be thinking about possibly this month of September. So you guys are thinking about creating something. It's, it's like you're thinking about having, you guys might be feeling and thinking that you have the ability, because you do, we all do, right, to create and really build, create, uh, have, this is more also about power, having this, this connection, having the connection to your higher self, your angels, God, um, having all the resources and being aligned with that intuition, being aligned with your higher loving, higher self. And by being aligned, we get a lot of clarity and we're able to create, we're able to be, we're able to do almost anything we want. So you guys are really, th might be thinking about that this month, creating something new, being very clear minded, um, being very centered, uh, very centered and, um, wanting to build something. This is great. The next card we have is wow. Transformation. Wow. So you guys are, this is in the position of what you'll be doing possibly this month. So a lot of you guys are, are going to be doing some things in a very different way, maybe erratic, very, maybe different. Um, this is about transformation. It's about change, real change. So you guys might be doing some things this month. These cards go really, really well together. Um, you guys are, it looks like you guys are really at a pivotal point in your life where you're going to be taking some beautiful, uh, action, um, towards something that is very, very meaningful in a very, very new, higher way. Uh, of doing things in your life. Um, this is a, this is a person that knows that has been through a lot and, uh, you're doing things in a very healthy new way. The next card we have is success. This is in the position of how you're feeling. Wow. So some of you guys are feeling non-successful. I don't know why when we have these beautiful, amazing cards right now, but maybe it's because you've gone through so much transformation mentally You've gone through so much change, so much hell. Like you, it's like you've gone from hell to heaven. Um, you know, it's like you've gone through so much change that maybe you know now you're at the point where you're able to make a change and go forward and build this creative new you. And it looks like you guys might be feeling though, even though you've grown so much, maybe you're not feeling like it's showing. Right? Maybe you're not feeling like it's it's able to manifest physically in this world yet, or, um, you're just not feeling that it's, it's made a difference yet. Like it showed up. I mean, you know, within yourself that you've gone through a lot and you've probably broke through this month in a lot of the ways that you're acting. So you guys are doing things very, very, any actions you take this month of September, you cannot lose because your actions are transformative. They're going to transform your life Whatever you need to do, it needs to, you need to take the action first or the decision and that decision and action is going to transform your life and it will make you successful. So those of you that are feeling like you're not really seeing any results or you're not feeling successful, trust me, you are well on your way to the success, well on your way. The next card we have is the mind. It's in reverse. So because of this feeling some of you are having of not feeling that you've really made it or you have, you've succeeded or that it's not showing up yet. It might be causing you to, um, in the past, it caused you to really go into your mind. Look at this card. This is somebody who's like all in their head, right? Their mind just never stops. And it's just drive. It's just like spinning thoughts in the mind, right? Sometimes that doesn't, it's not a very, comforting, uh, way of being, it can cause actually anxiety and stress. So a lot of you guys are coming out of that. You're like, forget that. I, I don't need to go into my mind anymore because you've transformed. Thank God. You guys, a lot of you guys have really, really come a far away. I'm not sure what you guys have gone through, but whatever this is, um, you guys are not, not having to go crazy in your mind as far as thinking, thinking about stress or, uh, thinking about transformation. You guys have really made it this month. So the ones of you that haven't seen the actual growth manifest or feel successful that way right now. Um, it's coming. You guys just, you guys have, have already transformed. Obviously you guys have really, really transformed. I'm really excited about this reading for you. It's a really, really strong reading. All right. So let's get into your main reading and the center of the, the center of the, um, reading, we have the King of Wands and the King of Wands is here saying, 
Um, the King of Wands is here in reverse. This is, could be a Leo. It could be an Aries. It also could be um, a Sagittarius. You guys are dealing with possibly one of these people or, uh, yeah, in your, in your situation. And this person is not moving forward. They're not taking action, okay? They're not taking action. They're not moving forward. They're being stubborn, possibly. Um, they could even be just not wanting to deal with you or not wanting to participate in something in regards to you. If you guys have fire in your chart, this might be you not wanting to take action for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and get more cards. In the recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wow. So Libra, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. This is Pisces. I know it's Pisces. Sorry, you guys. That slipped. Uh, some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra for whatever reason. But this is for Pisces for September. And we have in the recent uh, past, or it could be exactly right, in the, was in the beginning of the month, but no longer the case, is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This card talks about not really seeing change in your life, having things really go uh, not things were not working out. Things hadn't been going in your, in, turning in your favor for whatever reason, which really goes well with the fact that you guys haven't been really feeling the success. You haven't been really seeing the results yet. And, you know, in the past, that's true. That's how it was working for some of you. But now there is major transformation. Um, if there has been some difficulty, it could have to do with this King of Wands that is not moving forward in something. We'll find out more. The card that is possibly uh, crossing you or a challenge this month is the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, which I don't see how this could be a challenge, but we'll have to find out. This is a card of receiving a surprise out of the blue, something you weren't expecting. It is a surprise of finances, money. You guys might be receiving a gift of money. Um, not necessarily a gift. It just could be something coming your way that feels like a gift. Uh, somebody could be giving you a chunk of money, a small chunk of money. It could also be a very large chunk of money. Um, maybe you found out you're going to be receiving some money out of the blue. And for whatever reason, this King of Wands may have something to do with it. Um, maybe they're not happy for you or they're somehow not moving forward when it comes to supporting you in one way or another. This person also ha does not have a lot of passion. So if this is a relationship, uh, some of you were in dealing with a, if you were, you know, dealing with somebody who's a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, you may not be, they may not be wanting to deal, be in a relationship with you or move forward in a relationship with you. It could be work, relationship, anything. But this money situation, um, it does look like there's some kind of finances coming in. Again, this has, to, Virgo got this card as well for this month of September. So something of value is surprisingly going to be coming into you. It could be a job offer. It could be uh, just, you know, some money that you just really, really did not expect. It could be, you know, I like to, it even could be a lottery winning. You know, that's how, that's how much of a surprise it is or unexpected. Um, but with the lottery, we usually go and purchase a ticket and hope to win, right? Um, but so it could be that. But this is mostly something that you didn't even know about sometimes. All right, the next card we have is we have the nine of swords, nine of wands, and this nine of wands is in reverse, and this is what's coming towards you right now. So yes, if you guys are dealing with a, uh, you know, this is about somebody who's gone through a lot, and I mean a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges, and you succeeded. You you made it through the you made it through everything that was asked of you, everything you put your own self through that came your way. You guys really, um, did a great job and you, you've made it through it all, but now, and you know, it's made you kind of guarded, right? Like worried that, wow, you've been through so much, so many challenges. Is anything else going to come your way? It looks like this month, somebody's letting go. They're letting go. And this goes so well with this mind card and the transformation card and the creator card. It's like, it's like you're letting go of anything that all the challenges you've been through and you're not going to let it taint you in any way. You know how sometimes we go through a lot in our lives and we're like, oh my God, now it's like, now it's like you're afraid because your future, you're afraid for your future because your past has been so difficult. Hence the wheel of fortune in reverse. Things were not going your way or at least they were very difficult. Things were not going, you know, have, had been very difficult and you've been feeling, you've been feeling like you haven't really succeeded 
But the truth is you have succeeded. These cards are saying it just hasn't shown. And you guys are letting go. And this goes so well with this card. You guys are letting go of, of anything that's going to make you feel guarded or like you have to protect yourself or, you know, you don't want to be bullied. Anything, anybody who's been bullying you or pushing you, trying to push you into a corner. It's like, you know, I'm not, you're not going to do that anymore. You're not going to let people do that to you or somebody's coming in with this attitude. Like they're going to be open. They're going to be free of any kind of negativity. Um, you know, this also could be giving up on something, a project. You might be saying, I'm not going to do that anymore. I've succeeded. I've done what I needed to do, but I don't want to, I don't want to do that anymore. So this also could be a card of somebody changing their mind. The next card we have, this is in the position of what you should be focusing on this month, what you should be paying attention to. And we have the high, high priestess in reverse. So this is a card about not knowing the answers, not knowing every, it's, it's like a mystery. It's like not, not being able to know, um, the answers, right? Or a secret, a, mi a mystery, something being held, you know, a secret or something, something unknown. This is a card of needing um, advice. So some of you guys could be going and getting spiritual advice from a psychic or, um, you know, your own psychic abilities. You might be really needing some guidance right now on your intuition, using your mind to um, maybe further some, get some further information within yourself. So this card is telling you to use your intuition for those of you that, um, uh, need to find the answers about something. Um, let it, let the answers come to you through meditation and, uh, quieting your mind. And you're not going to have a problem with that this month at all. You are so connected to spirit. You're so connected to yourself. You've gone through so much transformation that you can trust yourself. You guys can trust yourself. You can trust your mind. Your mind is clear. Look at it. It's completely clear of stress, of any kind of like thoughts that you just can't. It's, it's like your mind's lack of clutter. There's no clutter anymore. So you guys will be able to find the answers. And we have the 10 of pentacles in the position of what it is that you guys are hoping for, striving for this month, really wanting. And it looks like you guys are really wanting stability. You're wanting a sense of stability within your home, within your finances. You're really wanting a family or a connection with somebody that will be your family, will be a lifetime together, building a family and a legacy together. Um, some of you are wanting to spend some money this month and I think this is possibly connected to the 10 of pentacles in reverse. So this challenge is, is possibly waiting for some money to come in and it could be connected to family members or the family legacy, the family money. You could be receiving um, a gift of money from the family. And for some of you, if you did separate uh, from a marriage, um, you might be receiving some kind of finances from that, that you didn't expect. But for a lot of you guys, there is something to do with finances here and um, stability. Okay, so how you see your position, Pisces, is the Page of Cups in reverse. And this is, could be you. could be you, Pisces. It could be a younger person as well. It could be another Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, okay, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or another Pisces. could be you. But there is, it, it could be a younger person, male or female. And this person's uh, needing something from you. It looks like this is this person might be a little younger than you, or it could be you feeling like you 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 need a little bit of attention right now, some emotional stability. Maybe uh, this person needs some um, emotional help. Maybe they need somebody you know somebody to talk to about their feelings and um, emotions because maybe they're not feeling that great right now emotionally. The next card we have is somebody in your in your um, who's in your environment. This is in your environment. It could be in your home life. It could be people surrounding you. This is the queen. I'm sorry. It's the, um, nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles talks about a very, like this could be, this is an earth sign. This is a Virgo. It is a Taurus. It is a Capricorn. It's one of those three. And it's usually a mother figure or a woman in your life. It doesn't have to be a mother figure, but it could be, uh, it could be, uh, a woman in your life or male in your life that has a lot of financial security. This person is very independent. Um, they don't really need anybody in their life because they can take care of themselves. 
That doesn't mean they don't want to be a single, but this person could be single as well. And this person's here. This person's coming in for you this month. Um, this person's in your environment um, and maybe you're getting some money from them or some kind of gift from this, from this person. Um, it also could have to do with, uh, you're just dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus. And this person's very loving, they're giving, um, and they're very kind, um, and they have a lot to offer you. The next card we have is the hangman. And this is in your hopes and fear position. Some of you guys are hoping for, uh, the lessons to be learned. You're hoping to move forward. You're hoping to, to, um, take that next step. And it, you want, you will be this month because this is the card we have. You're going to be taking actions this month that are transformative. You are going to be getting yourself out for those Pisces that have been feeling very stuck in their life, not being able to really make that change, really make a, a movement for whatever's been going around on with you. It's because it was meant to be that way. Your life was meant to be paused or, you know, stopped in some way because there was something you really, really needed to learn. And it had to do with this transformation. It had to do with you transforming your life to be the creator of your own self, to be the creator of your own life, to have that that emotional stability, the um, higher self, the uh, balance between yourself. Um, so you can create anything you want. And so uh, this month, uh, you guys will be doing taking action. If you want it, if, for those of you that are still feeling stuck, unable to move forward, this is the month that um, it's very important for you to take actions. Um, physically, mentally, verbally, whatever it is, you want to take the, take, make the plan, take the actions this month to, uh, because those plans and actions you're taking will transform you and they will get you out of this feeling. You will be learning your lesson. You've already learned your lesson. It looks like through some, whatever this was, uh, some of you guys have been, you know, the transformation card and just getting out of stress. Um, you're going to move forward. Wow. And you sure as heck will, because your outcome card is the fool. You guys have the fool for your outcome card. You guys are going to be moving forward this month. By the end of this month, that's it. You guys are going to be taking the action, whether this be moving, um, changing jobs, um, taking a very high risk in your life in a, anything it could be romance. It could be work. It could be anything, whatever you're dealing with. You guys are going to take a risk and it's something brand new and you're extremely excited about it and you're very positive about it and you're, you're going to be like a brand new person. So congratulations. You guys are going to be really, um, really feeling good, really, really feeling good, stable within yourself. Good, good within yourself, not really knowing maybe where you're going, right? This, this card's about not really knowing where you're going and it goes well with the, with the fool because the fool doesn't always know there's a cliff, a cliff, cliff here. And you could li he could literally, literally fall off the cliff, right? He's not going to, but I'm just saying the fool is about taking a chance. You guys are ready to take a chance. Okay. You're ready to take that chance and you're feeling really good about it. And you may not know exactly where you're going or where it's going to lead. It's not, it's not that you don't know where you're going. You don't know how it's going to transform, how it's going to, um, turn out or how, what your next exact steps are. Um, because they're kind of a mystery to you. And that's what this card is about. So keep, if it is a mystery to you, you don't really know, don't worry. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, guys. Um, I did pull this card for you. This is, it was an extra advice. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. You got the fool again. So it's confirming your extra advice, guys, is the fool on top of your outcome card. You got the fool twice, Pisces. I love it. Exciting because you know, the fool is also about, you know, that wonderment feeling, the wonderment feeling of like just feeling really good and lightweight. You don't have to carry any like trauma in your mind. You don't have to carry you, nobody's bullying you, or you know, you've already been through all the obstacles and challenges in your life. You're ready to just like start anew, and it really feels good. And again, you may not know where you're going, and that's okay. You might want to get advice, spiritual advice. Um, meditation is a great way to do that. So meditate, guys. Meditate, meditate, meditate this month. Really um, tune into your beautiful higher self 
and be the creator because you are all go you're all about creating a new path. This is all about a new path, a new way of being and a new uh, journey. Some of you guys also might be moving, 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 moving. Okay, Pisces, so hang in there. By the end of this month, don't worry about this risk. Take it and um, tune into your higher self. If you need to get advice from people, go for it. Why not? But you don't need advice. You have your own. You've already gone through your own. You're the creator. You guys are the creator of your own life. So um, you guys are just going to be moving forward in a brand new beginning. 